Welcome to Charm Health, your medical records management and practice management application on the cloud. In this video, we will walk you through the steps involved in EPCS enrollment. EPCS DEA requirements. Every practice should have two individuals to complete the EPCS enrollment process, an EPCS admin manager and an approving DEA registrant. If the practice has only two prescribers, one prescriber can act as the admin manager and another can act as the approving DEA registrant. The EPCS admin manager performs administrative tasks such as verifying the prescriber's license and raising approval requests for authorizing prescribers to e-prescribe controlled substances. Any member from your practice account, including the practice admin, office manager, or other staff can be the EPCS admin manager. The approving DEA registrant should be a prescriber or supervising prescriber possessing a DEA number. Approving DEA registrant needs to go through the Experian identity proofing process first so that they can obtain the two-factor authentication token. Once they have gone through identity proofing, they can approve the EPCS admin manager for signing requests for self and other prescribers who are going through the EPCS enrollment process. Following are the steps for EPCS enrollment. Firstly, practice admin slash office manager will need to assign two practice members to the EPCS admin manager and approving DEA registrant roles. They also have to purchase EPCS subscriptions and associate purchase subscriptions to prescribers. Step two, EPCS admin manager needs to verify the license of the approving DEA registrant and other providers enrolling for EPCS and raise approval requests for signing CS drugs. Step three, Prescribers, including the approving DEA registrant, as well as other providers who need EPCS services, have to go through an identity proofing process to obtain two-factor authentication. Step 4. The approving DEA registrant needs to approve requests raised by the EPCS admin manager for themselves and other providers enrolling for EPCS. Step 5. Charm team will enable EPCS services for prescribers to prescribe CS drugs. Let's go through each of these steps. Practice admin slash office manager can log into their Charm account and go to settings, then EPCS manager to assign two practice members to the EPCS admin manager and approving DEA registrant roles. Once the roles are configured, they have to purchase EPCS subscriptions from this page. Input credit card information in Exostar. EPCS identity proofing is handled by Exostar, so payments will be made to Exostar. Then, associate the purchase subscriptions to prescribers. Step 2. EPCS admin manager needs to verify the license of the approving DEA registrant and other providers enrolling for EPCS and raise approval requests for signing CS drugs. From the EPCS Manager section, the EPCS Admin Manager can raise approval requests for the approving DEA registrant's own EPCS after verifying the DEA license expiration date. The approving DEA registrant and other prescribers enrolling in EPCS need to go through the Exostar Identity Proofing process. Exostar follows two ways of identity proofing, remote proofing using knowledge-based questions on financial and personal history. For this kind of identity proofing, having your credit report ready will help in answering the questions quickly. If Exostar is unable to pin the user in their directory, a webcam-based proofing approach will be followed. To go through the identity proofing process, prescribers need to log in to their Charm accounts. In the EPCS registration page, they will find a registration checklist to help them know that they are currently new. The registration form asks for a software token and a hardware token. After the EPCS purchase, Exostar will ship the hardware token to the facility address in five to six business days. However, prescribers don't need to wait for the hardware token to arrive. They can proceed with the registration process 
using soft tokens from their mobile number. Start New Registration button takes prescribers to the Exostar portal, where they need to enter their social security number and date of birth. In the Verify Identity page, Exostar will ask questions related to your financial and credit history. As mentioned before, having a credit report handy will help you answer these questions within the maximum time limit of 10 minutes. After the questions are answered, Exostar will take you to link the hardware token. If the hardware token is available, enter the token serial number found on the back side of the token, and an OTP will be generated, which will change every 20 seconds. If the token is not with you, skip this step. Next, register a phone for the EPCS process. Enter a mobile number, and an OTP will be generated. Once the identity proofing process is complete and you have been approved, you will be directed back to CharmHealth's EPCS registration page. Users can see their status updated to active and the next steps involved in the process. After going through identity proofing, approving DEA registrant can approve the CS drug signing requests raised by the EPCS admin manager for self and other prescribers. Other prescribers also need to go through the same steps for identity proofing. Under Settings, then EPCS Manager, the Manage link will ask approving DEA registrants to enter two-factor authentication. Charm EHR password is the first factor of authentication, and the OTP from the soft or hard token is the second factor of authentication. Approving DEA registrant can approve the CS drug signing requests raised by the EPCS admin manager for self and other prescribers. Once these steps are completed by the approving DEA registrant and the EPCS admin manager, Charm can enable EPCS services for the prescribers. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.